Today I want to talk about something serious. I want to talk, I don't know a better term for it, militant Christians. And these are the really strong militant ones. I mean, the ones that are pushing their religious agenda on everyone else. It's not just having it so that it's equal for everyone. So that no one religion gets treated favoritively. And everyone gets treated the same. There's no favoritism. And we see a lot of times with Christians where the opposite happens. You've seen it with where the Christians are trying to enforce laws. They're trying to put their religion in charge of certain things. Like North Carolina, I believe it was, that was trying to make Christianity the state religion. Cities that have prayers to God during meetings on public time, during their meetings where the public's paying for them, and then set it up so that only Christians can have these prayers. And then they say, well, this city's 21 is 70% Christian, so we get to decide. Of course, then you run into problems of which Christians. You have Christians trying to force prayers during assemblies and in school. And then when people bring it up and say, we don't want this, suddenly people get death threats. People get beat up with cops nearby and they do nothing because someone's standing up for their rights in the United States. You have all these things where protecting yourselves and trying to protect others is seen as offensive, where you can't speak up of your own beliefs. But they're quite happy to get upset and try to force their beliefs on other people. Look at good news clubs. I've talked about these groups before. These things are disgusting. They take these clubs, go into junior high, elementary schools, talk to kids, and get kindergarteners and young kids to tell their friends to join these clubs or they're going to hell. They tell kids that aren't the right kind of Christians they're going to hell. Catholics are told they're going to hell. And of course, they're undermining science. They're attacking reality. These clubs are disgusting. They're very strong fundamentalist Christians and they're undermining education. And that's their goal. Their goal is to teach their type of belief. They can't do it in schools so or try to create these clubs to force kids into them. That's entirely their agenda. You have all these things. You have laws being enacted to either protect religious fundamentalism or to give special rights or just to enforce religious beliefs. You know, it's no longer about law, about secularism, about rights of everybody. It's becoming more and more the rights of a small minority of Christians to force their beliefs on everyone else. They want to have it so that they don't like someone, they can discriminate against them. If you don't like a gay person, black person or whatever, they're quite, that they can be able to say, well, my religious beliefs are against this, so I get to discriminate. Is religious favoritism. Why just because it, somebody says his religious beliefs is suddenly somebody get to break the law? And I'm talking about, you know, it's fine if they want to do this in a church. I, I'd still have issues. We're talking private businesses here. We're talking people that work and have these huge businesses, hospitals and stuff. People want the right to be able to deny doing their job if they disagree with part of a job. So if they're a pharmacist and they disagree with birth control, if, even if they're the only birth only pharmacists in town that they can disagree. Even if they're just a clerk there, hired by someone else, that they can legally fail to do their job. They want to be able to deny rights to gay couples on religious grounds. And it's just wrong. Your religious beliefs end at yourself. You don't get to decide when and when you're not you're going to do your job. If you can't do your job, then quit. Find another job. Because your job is to do your job, whether you like it or not. It's not your place to decide what you like or don't like. This is just frustrating. I don't know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this. And this is a bit of a touchy subject, but I just find this stuff frustrating.